Hi, my name is Matthew. I'm a student at Northwest Technical Institute in Springdale, Arkansas. I'm a student in the electronics division. My classmate here, Shelton, and I have been working with a few other group members on a project for Applied Motion's motion control competition. Uh, Shelton's going to tell you a little bit about that. Basically what we put together is a ping pong ball sorter that sorts by color. It starts from a basket and shoots down one of two tracks, one of the tracks leading to a box that has sorted out the orange ping pong balls. Our building process started towards the end of February. We were brainstorming for ideas on how to get the balls all back to a central location. We first made the hopper and then we began working on track one. Track two came shortly after. We used various materials we had at our disposal, such as uh, aluminum wire for some of the tracks. We used uh, mesh wire for the initial hopper. We used wood for other tracks as well as support beams. We made custom plexiglass clips. We built a ramp out of the plexiglass. Uh, we built a funnel. We even used plastic measuring spoons. This is our wire mesh ball hopper. It funnels the balls down to here, a sifter, where we have a color sensor in place and an applied motion motor that sifts the balls down one at a time. Here we use an Arduino Uno attached with an Adafruit motor shield that takes the input from the color sensor and tells the, tells the Uno which color ball is in the sifter, uh, which then tells the applied motion motor which direction the ball needs to travel, which track it needs to go down. We use STR2 stepper drivers to communicate between the Arduino and the stepper motors. When a white ball is recognized by the color sensor, constant air pressure sends it down the default track. It is shot across a ramp into a funnel that lands it onto a track. A sensor is triggered and the applied motion stepper motor teeters the track to a second track then a third. The white ball is dropped back into the hopper for further rotation. Truck 1 used three applied motion 6 volt stepper motors. Track 2 begins like track 1. It shoots an orange ball this time down a corresponding tube. The ball is then jettisoned up to the top where it begins its descent downwards. The ball makes its way down the track, coming to its first pinwheel. After making it over that, it comes to a second pinwheel. The ball is held in place by aluminum wire. The ball then rolls around a bend to be separated away from the white balls. Track 2 uses two stepper motors driven by two STR2s. So, as you can see, all the white balls are left in the hopper with the oranges sorted out. This concludes our video submission for the Applied Motion Motion Control Competition. 
A special thanks goes out to Applied Motion for making this project possible, and another special thanks goes to our instructor, Billy Graham.